True Gospel Reading Service coming to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Dalton Green about you this is here at Headquarters Center, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Service Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, 7 30 p.m. Sunday, Monday. Now, in case you're interested in reading Sunday for literature, the mailing address is Bishop Dalton Gray P.O. Box 523, Bronx, New York, Zip Code 10457. It will be sent to you free of charge. We have now selected from the Holy Temple, Sing Radio Choir, dedicated to our religious entitled, I Want to Go There. They tell me that I'm not Tell me of a home. They tell me of a Oh! 
you're tuned to the Bible True Gospel Radio Service coming to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Duncan Green invites you to visit here at Headquarters Temple, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Service Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Sunday, noon day. Now, in case you're interested in reading some of the literature, the mailing address is Bishop Duncan Green, P.O. Box 523, Bronx, New York, Zip Code 10457. It will be sent to you free of charge. Dear listeners, you're invited to visit the Holy Temple Church located at Spot Headquarters, New York City, 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York. Bishop Green, Apostle, Pastor, and General Overseer. Bishop Melvin Samuel Sisson, Washington, D.C., 2635 Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue. Bishop Melvin Samuel Pastor, Minister Thomas Millward Sisson, Norfolk, Virginia, 800 Elvin Street on the corner, corner Capital, Southern Elvin Street. Elderly Taylor, Pastor. Petersburg, Virginia, 23 South Jefferson Street. Elder Douglas Robinson, Pastor, Minister Mark Willock, Assistant. Lawson, Virginia, Route 17, near the White House Shopping Center. Elder Robert William, in charge, Minister Ernst Page, Assistant. Elder Green, North Carolina, 10362, Lumberton Road, near the Land Cross Road. Elder Samuel Robert, Pastor. Wilson, North Carolina, 48 North Pender Street, Bishop Green, Pastor. Columbia, South Carolina, 5000 North Main Street. Bishop Melvin Samuel Pastor, Bishop Randy McIntyre. Yamasee, South Carolina, number two Wall Street on the Highway 17. In the Yamasee Business District, Bishop Lily Bleach Pastor. Greenville, South Carolina, 903 West Washington Street. Bishop Curtis Ford Pastor, Memphis, Tennessee, 3196 Ford Road. Bishop Samuel Wilkes Pastor. Jacksonville, Florida, 702 Lafayette Street on the corner, Auburn and Lafayette. Elder Philip Boston Pastor. Canada, Florida, 2385 Concho Drive. Bishop Green Pastor, Acting Deacon Charles Jones in charge. Toronto, Canada, 475 Eddie Stone Avenue, 23, <coughs> located near Jane Lynch. Bishop Carl Miller Pastor. Now, this time, it is my pleasure to present unto you. From the Holy Temple Church, the next course here, the citizen pastor, Bishop Melvin Center. He's a healer. Hey. He's a healer. Green. 
thanking God for him again, allowing me this privilege to come before you all once more, to declare to fill it in his stead, to declare God one and only true plan of salvation. Amen. We have no doubt in our heart. It's going to be just like God said it. Thank God the some say he's a healer. We believe it. We serve a God. He is fully able. There is nothing too hard for God to do. God is a healer. He is a deliverer. I don't care what the test may be. We serve a great God. We serve a mighty God. A God that is fully able to do all things. You better get the Psalms 34 and verse and verse 19. Uh, dedicate this song to the saints of God. So many are going through affliction, sickness in the body. But we know God is a healer. Amen. Talk with one of our young sister this morning in Hong Kong. I uh, thank God and you that are well, whatever part of the world you are, over there in Bishop Simmons, the saints in Jamaica, Bishop Noel, saints in Canada going through affliction, our uh, elder uh, pastor there in Kenya calling me, uh, distress, the flood came, and so many hundreds of them got drowned and but I'm thanking God we serve a God. He's a deliverer. Amen. And I dedicate that song to our beloved Mother Michelle Newton. And all the others that are going through their affliction. The word of God stated in Psalms 34 and 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. My God is said, many are the afflictions of the righteous. Even right, that don't mean Something that's going to come. Many. Praise God. All the affliction. Of the righteous. Of the righteous. For the Lord in them. Are the right. strong. Remember saints. God is a healer. Oh, yeah. You know the devil is a liar. Praise My God. God we serve. But God he's a deliverer. Yeah. I don't care what you face with. God is a deliverer. Of the Lord, yes. the church can never be defeated. My God, God know how to deliver His people. Whatever you're going to, you better get me. Second Peter, second chapter, verse nine. The Lord deliver. Yes. He know how to deliver. That's why we can depend on God. I don't care what it is, wherever you are, I got Zambia, Tanzania, Malaya, and all these different countries that are calling in. I want you to hold your confidence in God. The word of God stated in, in 2 Peter, 2 chapter, verse 9. The Lord know how to deliver the God. You see, I can tell everybody don't know. But we serve a God. Yeah. I don't care what it is. Just remember the Lord. Yeah. The Lord know how. You the God you have the temptation. I, God, that's what encouraged me. Just to know God is a deliverer. Yeah. I don't care what you face with. Just remember. Sometimes you're going to face with. It's a tight situation. But remember, we serve a God. God. The Lord know how. Wherever you, you are, under the sound of my voice, whatever you're battling, you got to know how to turn it over to God. Why? Because the Lord know how. Everybody don't know. But the Lord know. The Lord know how. To deliver the God out of temptation. Just keep on waiting and God. Job said it, things that he greatly feared. Some things you hope you don't come, but it's gonna come. I hear of Job in the third chapter of Job and verse and verse the 25th verse. Let me hear what Job said. Yeah. 
find you battling one day and when you get over that thing something else come but just remember the Lord know how the temptation tell God rise up Lord one place he told God to rise up and let the enemy be scattered my God the Lord know how Yes. To deliver the godly things that you fear. Let me tell you, you have to face, face it head on. But just remember, God is a deliverer. In Job, the third chapter and the twenty-fifth verse. For the things which I bring to fear, I God, some things that you are being afraid of. It's come upon me. Something going to come upon you. Yes. My God, it's come upon me. That which I was afraid of. The things that you be afraid of. It's come unto me. My God, I hear Mother Pat Dave's testimony. But just remember, Mother Pat, he's a healer. And all of you that are battling your affliction, I don't care what come upon you, turn it over to Jesus. All of you that are going through affliction in your body, I want you to hold God. Praise God. I God don't say it come upon me. Yes, and that which I was afraid of. That which I was afraid of. Come unto me. Something going to come upon me. Hallelujah. But hold your confidence yes, in God. Lord. My God, I will, I will pray to late this morning. God in my day, and the scripture came where Solomon said he is our confidence. You know God, you can depend on God. And Read on. The things which I greatly fear. Which I greatly fear. Come upon me. My God, something going to come upon you. And that which I was afraid of. Which I was afraid of. of is come unto me. Something going to come on you. It tests going to get close. Oh, yes. But read on. I was not in safety. I was not in safety. Neither had I rest. Neither have I rest. Neither was I quiet. My yeah, God, trouble came. Trouble got to come. I don't care what you do. There is a day when trouble got to come. But just remember, my God is a mighty God. Oh, yeah. I don't care what come upon you. Hold your confidence in God. I don't care what you face with. My God, don't let nothing get you down. You got to know how to hold it up. As long as you know that God is with us, you got to come out with the big oh, yes. Trouble going to come. My God, trouble came up on you. Trouble My God, trouble came. My God, Job. I hear Job in the first chapter of Job. And the last few verses. My God, Job, they, they came and they told Job, you better to Job 1 start from the 18th verse. Yeah. Sometimes one news come at you off the other. But as long as you know, my God, God is with you, you're coming out with the victory. Soon as you hear one news, something else come. But I believe in Job chapter 1, and verse 18, my God, he lose all his animal, all the cattle, and all the thing. But then he has come something close to him now. Read on. Sir. Why are you just thinking? Why? Sometime before you can finish, something else coming. Started. While yes. he were yet speaking, there came also another. And none. And said, and said, Thy son and thy daughter. Thy son and thy daughter. Even and drinking and wine in the eldest brother's house. In the eldest brother's house. Behold, behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness. My God, from the wilderness. And smited the four corners of the house. Smite the four. And it fell upon the young man. Fell up on the young man. They are dead. My God, that was a good time. No, sir. All your children are dead. Yes, but and I own I'm only escape alone to tell you. Read on. Then Job arose. Oh, and you mind. don't know what's going to bring you to your knees. You don't know what's going to bring you to your knees. Job arose. And shaved his head. Shaved his head. And fell down upon the ground. 
God, whatever. God, does something. God, to bring you down. My God, oh, Joe fell down. Up on the ground and worship. And worship. It's a naked came out my of God moon. never charged God foolishly. He never started blaming God. But he Sorry. went back at his humble beginning. Naked. Naked. Hallelujah. Joe went back when I came. I didn't bring none of these in this world. He said naked. Came I out of my mother's womb. And naked shall I return. Naked. The Lord gave. I got on going back naked. My, I can't carry none of what I accumulate with me. God who give it. The Lord the Lord gave. It. And the Lord have taken it away. God, if it please God to take it, just remember. Hallelujah. Read on. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God is a blessing when you can bless God going through your test. It's a blessing when you can hold your head up and say, Lord, I thank you anyhow. It's a blessing when you can do like David. David went through a lot of trouble. But you know what David said? David went through a whole lot of trouble. My God, he said he was a step between him and death. But I hear David saying Psalms 47 and 1. What you said, David? He went through a lot. Yeah. My God, he said he was a step between him and death. But David said, oh, clap your hands. Oh, clap your hands. God, David said, I'm still going to clap my hands. I'm not going to let the test get me down. Even though I'm a step between me and death, I'm still going to give God the praise. Oh, clap your oh, hands. Clap your hands. Trouble. Oh, yeah. You're having trouble. Oh, yeah. 
but you still come on back praising yes. God in the midst of the trouble. Praise somebody God. looking for you to go down, yes. but you hold your head up. Said, don't let nothing get you down. Psalms 34 and 1. I will bless the Lord at all times. What you say, I will bless the Lord. I'm gonna bless the Lord. Trouble on every side, but I'm still gonna praise God. I'm gonna bless the Lord. You know you're blessed when you can give God the praise. Go into the trouble. I will bless the Lord. At all times, his praise. Not just when the good times, That's when right. things going well with you. Yes. My God, my God. But when, what about when you're down in the valley? Oh, Not yes. about when you're up on the mountain. But can you still bless God in I the blessing? Job said, though you slay me, yes. yet will I trust you. We're going to bless the Lord. I feel like running sometimes. I feel like giving back the glory. I'm going to bless the Lord. Stress, persecution. I God, come on, son. I God, my soul. Hallelujah, my soul. Can you tell God? Tell somebody that God is a deliverer. God is a healer. Even though everything going against me, I'm still gonna praise. Something go back. Yes. 
know ye. No heat. That the Lord, he is God. Come on, Jesus. I'm coming back to you. That the Lord, he is God. He is God. It is he that made us. Who made us? It is he. So won't you, go, made us. won't you go back to your maker? It is he. made us and not we ourselves. I didn't make myself, Lord. You made us. We are his people. We are your people, Lord. She of his come see about your people. Come on! So Job went to him in his humble state. Oh, Job was low. So Job said in the book of Job 10 and verse 8, Thy hand Tell me. Tell God about it, saints. Tell God about it. Lord, your you hand. Made. Your hand and fashion me together. Round about. Round about. Yet I do destroy me. Read on. Destroy me. Remember, I beseech thee. Oh, hallelujah. You know, God wants us to come and humble ourselves before him. Tell God, God, remember. I beseech thee. Come on, Lord, I need help. You that are out there battling, going through your tests and trials. You need to use, go back to God. Use this scripture and tell God. Job tell him in Job chapter 10 and verse and verse 8. Thy hand and made me and fashion me together. You go back to your maker. Amen. He made the one you go into. Amen. My God. And he made everything. Amen. Thy hand. Get sick. I go to my mate. Right. Come on, Jesus. I'm coming to you, Lord. It's me again, Lord. Thy hand made me. You do it before you can do it again. Thy hand made me. I feel like shouting right now. Thy hand made me. Have made me. Fashion me the gown. Read on. Remember I deceived thee. Oh, please thank God for mercy. Remember I deceived thee. I beseech thee. Thou hast made me. Thou hast you made me. Made me as the clay. You made me as the clay. And with our brain yeah. into dust again. Are you going to bring me back to dust again? Come on, church. You better open your mouth and talk to your maker. Have thou now me out as milk. You went back to how we came in the world. You pour me out like milk. You curl me like cheese. Curl me like cheese. I throw me with your skin and flesh. You put skin on me. My God, whatever you have, you might be going through a skin, skin problem. God know how to solve the skin problem. Because he clothes you with skin. And he clothes you with flesh. You better talk to God. Open your mouth and talk to your maker. You close me with skin and flesh. You fence me. They say you got a bone problem. He know to take care of the bone problem. Because he fence you with bone and sin. You know, that is grant me life. I got that death not only with that. You grant me life. Anything. I know you can't take it when you're ready, but you grant me life. Anything. And you grant me favor. Oh, you, change, I preserve my spirit. you preserve my spirit. These things. These things. As I get in my heart. What a blessing when you know this. Read on. I know that this is with thee. This is with thee. My sin. Hallelujah. I know you are the deliverer. You grant me life. I, I know you can take it when you're ready. In Job chapter 34 and verse and verse 14. Job 34 and verse 14. Listen, listen. Come on for me. <laughs> And Job 34 and verse 14. If he set his heart yes. upon man, hallelujah. Since you if he set his heart upon man, and you know you can take it when you're ready, you grant me life. And I'm, I'm going to praise you 
I, God with what you grant me. If he said it's hard to oh, man, man, if he got unto himself his spirit, yeah. whose spirit? His spirit. It's not your spirit, and and his breath. It's whose spirit? His spirit and his breath. It's his spirit. Yes. And his breath. All flesh. All flesh. All flesh. My God, he got to, he got to lead the world leader. He is everything he can take it when he's ready. Read all flesh should perish together. Perish together. Call called the leader from Africa and begged me to pray for one of the leaders. The president said, please pray for him. They give him so much days to live. But I'm praying that God save him before he leave here. All right, beloved. He said it's hard upon man. Upon man. Down unto himself his spirit. His spirit. And his breath. And his breath. All flesh should perish together. All flesh should perish together. Man should turn again unto death. He can leave here so quick. Oh, yes. Come back to the dust. Read on. Yes, if now the has understand. Do you hear what the word of God said? In all you get in, get understanding. Praise if God. now the have understanding. Hear this, hearken to hear the voice of the Hear this, hearken. God wants you to hearken. To the voice of you know the somebody word. out there need to hearken? Yeah, yeah. Hearken. To the voice of my word. To the voice of my word. To even he that hated right government. Read on. And without condemn him that is most just. God, you, you better don't go up against God. Exactly. Don't condemn your maker. Will thou condemn him? That is most just. Read on. Is it fit to say to a king? Is it so thou are wicked? Thou are wicked. And to princes, ye are ungodly. He are ungodly. How much less to him? To him. That except not the princes of prince. Except <laughs> not the person of princes. Read on. No regard the rich more than the poor. That's what I love about God. God don't regard the rich. More than the poor. No more. I don't care if you go going around so you're a billionaire. That's right. I don't care if you have a hundred by the God behind you. God don't regard the rich. That's what I love about God. Yeah, right. Why do you think Peter, he went down there in Acts, tra in Acts chapter 10 and verse 34. Yeah. Peter went down to Cornelius. My God. Peter said, you know it's an unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew to come under the one of another nation. But God don't straighten out Peter. Right, right. God is straighten out Peter. Yeah, you know, but Peter opened his and mouth said of the truth. and set up a truth. I perceive God is no respect of person. Who? That God is All no right. respect of person. He don't regard the rich. More than the rich. Rich man. You got to get this. Rich man. Millionaire. Millionaire. You're going to have. Don't whatever you do now. Don't leave here without this now. Don't let you don't hold on to your riches. All this vanity. Vexation of spirit. You ain't gonna carry none with you. Hallelujah. You can't take it with you. But one thing you better make peace with God. He don't regard the rich. More than the poor. No more. I don't care if you walk around with a billion Amen. My God and have it posting every morning. How it's getting it's growing higher and higher. But God don't regard you no more than before. They are all the works of his hand. They are what? The works of his hand. The works of his hand. In a moment. In a, you can leave here so quick. <laughs> so I remember when I met, I, I, I met a rich, he, he from Saudi Arabia, he said he was once known as the richest man. We arrived at Rockefeller Center. And Fifth Avenue, Fifth Street, I went in his apartment. He got all this well-known thing, Elizabeth Taylor, everybody doing concert. And he came out and he said, Sir Sam, ever said, I want you to do my unit from now. And he have so much money, he have a cooler, walk-in cooler. House manager went and take the cash money. My God, but you know I heard not long ago that he gone? God don't regard the rich. Amen. I want to warn you, rich man, poor man, the beggar man, 
You better repent. Amen. You better be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. Why? Because hearing God do not the rich more than the poor. He don't regard you more than the poor man. Read on. For they are all the works of his hand. He all the works of his hand. In a moment. In a moment. Shall they die. Shall they die. People can leave here so quick. But the worst thing is to leave here without God. Amen. Try your best to love. Don't leave here without God. Whatever you do, don't leave here without God. Amen. You better make peace with God. All right, sir. In a moment. In a moment. You know, you can go to sleep. My God, the bitch was telling me how he was praying for someone overseas over the door. And he prayed for them three o'clock. And he said, the next thing you know, they say it got to happen between uh, three and four. Get off the phone with that. And they were gone. In a moment. Oh, they got people, but I don't know why people want to lift themselves up against God. In a moment, in a moment, shall they die? Shall they die? The people shall be troubled at midnight. Read on. And pass away. Read on. And the mind shall be taken away with our hands. Because nobody don't have to come and shoot a bullet at you. So he must let you go to sleep and take his spirit. Oh, yes. He shall be taken away without hand. Without hand. For his eyes are upon the ways of men. That's what I love saying. I'm on my knees sometimes, three, four o'clock in the morning. I said, Lord, your eyes, you know all what's going on. Oh, yes. Your eyes. Upon the ways of men. All right, beloved. Remember, God see you. His eyes. Upon the ways of men. Nobody gonna get around God. Said, you might deceive man, but you can't deceive God. I said, I My God, you might can get around man, but you won't get around God. His eyes. Oh, the way he's he's going. You mean God see all his going? See it all his going. You mean God? Who wouldn't, who wouldn't fear a God like oh, this? Might as well you be honest with God. Might as well. I see why David tell God, search me, O Lord. I know the Lord. See if there is anything in me that shouldn't be here, Lord. I want you to clean me up, Lord. I want you to take me, take it away, Lord. Why? Think that God created me, oh Lord. What kind of heart? A clean heart and renew the right spirit within me. I can't hide it from you. Your eyes upon the ways of man. You see it? Yes. On the way and see it all is going. I come up from the head to my feet. God see me underneath that car. He see it all my going. Yes. Read on. And he see it all his going. He see it all his There is no darkness, no shadow of death. I don't care how dark one place, you know, David said, there is not a word in my tongue. No. No, Lord. But a man who wouldn't fear a God like this, oh, yeah. I can come back to you and say this and this. My God, Ananias came, Ananias and Sapphira, Ananias gave Peter oh, yeah. and said, and said, so, so much, so much. Peter said, How is it? Were you not afraid? Yes. You don't lie. You don't lie to men. But you lie to God? Now, that's first Peter. Uh, that, I mean, that's Acts chapter 5 and 1. Yes. He said, he, he asked and and I, they sell it. Oh, yeah. And Peter said, was it not thine own? Yes, if you could do mind. what you want to do. That's right. Some people yeah. work and labor and rather than give God and give God the right Jews, give God the tent. And Jacob, all that you bless me with, I'm going to surely give you the ten. Some people try to curve around it. Praise and God. Work. And ain't no, you don't have to do nothing but try to be honest with God. Listen to what he's telling you. Well, it's a man named Ananias and Sapphira. His Re wife sold a possession. Sold a possession. And kept that part of the prices. His wife also being private to it. 
Don't conspire with nobody. No, sir. I don't care if it's your wife, your children, your husband. You be honest with God. The wife also. Yes, Read on. Go ahead and turn part and lady and the apostle Peter. Read on. And Peter said to Ananias. Yes. Why has Satan filled our heart to lie to the Holy Ghost? To lie to the Holy Ghost. And to keep that part of the price. Why you keep of the that? Man. Read on. While it remained, what? Yes. While it remained, was it not in our own? Was it not in our own? After it was so, was it not in our own power? Nobody forced it to do it. Why has thou conceived this thing in thy heart? In thy heart. Why has Why has thou lied unto men? You You listen now. You lie unto men. Yes, thou has not lied unto men. That's what I want. Sometimes people think they're getting around, they're getting around men and getting around us, getting around Bishop Green, getting around the one in charge. You you might think you get around them, but you can't get around God. not lying unto men. His eyes are up on all the ways of men. He in the location, wherever you are, you ain't lying to Bishop Green. Read on! No, sometimes I feel like preaching. Lie unto God! And as hearing these words, fell down. Fell down. Gave up the ghost. Look how quick gave up the ghost. But he leave wrong. Lying. Read on. And the Bible says all liars going to have their part in the lake of hell, fire, and brimstone. Read on quick. And great fear came on all people that heard these words. Read on. And the young man arose. Yes. And wound him up. Read up. And carried him out and buried him. Read up. And it was about the space of three hours after. When his wife not knowing she had oh, three hours to change her mind. She had three hours to consider and change her mind. Oh yeah. Three hours. That space of three hours. And Peter answered unto her. And to her. Answered unto her. Yes, tell me. Tell me. Whether you sold the land for so much. Read on. And she said, Yea. Yea. For so much. For so much. Then Peter said unto her, Read on. How is it that you have agreed together to tempt the Spirit of the Lord? agree with nobody in the wrong. Sorry about that. Don't agree with nobody to overturn or overturn the one. Save Peter, so save yourself. Don't agree with nobody in the wrong. That's right. <coughs> Amen. Amen. Paul said, take it to record this day. What's the matter, Paul? That I'm pure from the blood of all men. Because he that searcheth the heart, he know what is the God search you while you're sleeping. Don't agree with nobody on the wrong. How is it that you both agree? Together to tempt the spirit of the Lord. Read on. Yes. Yes. Both the feet of them. Read on. Which had buried their husband. My are at the door. She was surprised. My husband died. Oh, and then she should carry thee out. They're going to carry you out. Oh. Then then she did. Down. Straight. Fell down. Straight down. Straight down. At, the, at the feet. And yield up the ghost. She could have break apart from that line. Oh, yes. But they agreed together. Oh, yes. Don't agree with anybody, even surmising. Men of corrupt mind. I won't agree with nobody in the wrong. I want to save myself. All right. No, don't tell she down. All right. Straight way on his feet. Straight way on his feet. Up the ghost. My God save The eyes of the Lord. I may not see. You might think you're getting around Bishop Green. But I want you to know this the love in Jeremiah chapter Jeremiah chapter 16 verse 17. Let me be brief. What he say? Jeremiah 16. People better humble themselves. For my eyes. Do you hear God talking here? Yeah. Who my eyes upon all their ways? Upon all their ways? All their ways. Read up. They're not here from my face. God saying nothing here. From his face? Is that iniquity here from my eye? Read on. At the first, I will recognize. My God, get me Proverbs chapter 15 and the third verse. I know that which is done in the dark. All right, beloved. Proverbs 15. And the third verse. 
Why they say? Praise God. God is a mighty God. The eyes of the Lord are in every place. In how many places? The eyes of the Lord are in every place. David is telling him, don't look oh, in. The you can not block him from looking in your place. You can block a lot of things. You can have a lot of things. Oh, yes. Starting and blocking. But God said his eyes are in every place. How many places? Every place. In every place? Every place. Behind the evil and the good. You mean God behold the evil? Amen. So since he is such a great God, if I were you, beloved, I would humble myself right now and obey God's word. Acts chapter 2, verse 36. Therefore, you're going to have to stand before this God. Therefore, let all the house of Israel no assurance. No assurance. God has made that same Jesus whom you have crucified. Whom you have crucified. Both Lord and Christ. Both Lord and Christ. Now when they heard this, they were quick in their heart. My God, this ought to reach somebody. Rich or poor, high or low. Wherever you are, how you yet repent, baptized, repent. You better do something about it right now. Therefore, what is it? All the house of Israel. Yes. No surely. Mm -hmm. God made the same Jesus mm -hmm. crucified. Read Both Lord and Christ. Lord and Christ. Now when they heard this. When they heard it, they said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles. Made it, brother. What shall we do? What shall we do? Then he said unto them, repent. All right. And be baptized. But it's what you got to do. You got to repent. You gotta be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Alright, then I'll give up the Holy Ghost. It's, uh, it's up to you now, but it's up to you and to your children. Read on. Read on. Save yourself. Save who? Save yourself. Do something about yourself. You may not be able to save everybody, but what about saving them? You need a God like this. Close me out there. Save yourself. Read on. And they get glad to receive this word. Somebody got to receive this. Same day. Everybody not going to fight it. Same day. I don't let nothing get me down. You know why? Because in Second Chronicles chapter 13 and verse 12, I want the world to know the reason why we're so happy. Why we are so encouraged. But he says Second Chronicles chapter 13 and 12. And behold. Behold. I himself. I want the world to know we're not alone. God Himself, God Himself is with us. He is our captain and His preacher. God is our 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 God Fight ye not. Help for yourself. I'm not the man the hands of God. Fight ye not. Against the Lord God of your fathers. God bless you. You can't trust me. Thank you.
appreciate his search. David, yeah, God searched you, oh Lord. Like God, when God search you, what a mighty God we serve. It's a blessing when you know God. My God, I thank God. We serve such a great God. We serve such a mighty God. You know, I see why, I see why Solomon tells us in all our ways, go ahead and acknowledge it. Whatever it is, go ahead. That's the third chapter of Proverbs. My God, you know God want us do we we got to be able to acknowledge God? You know, God love when you acknowledge it. Yeah. David said, I'm going to bless the Lord at all times. That's the matter, David. He, he, his praise going to be continually be in my mind. I'm still going to praise God. God Job acknowledging, says, no, you're slaving. Yes. I'm still. Oh, yeah. I'm still going to trust you. Though everything going against me, oh, yes. I'm still gonna trust him. Oh, yeah. I ain't gonna let him get me down. That's I'm right. gonna, you know, God love when we acknowledge him. Praise right. God. My God, and those prophets of old and David, a lot of them, they got a lot of victory. Acknowledge God. God love when we can acknowledge him. Listen to what in all that way. That's Proverbs 30 chapter and the, and the fifth verse. Let's go to the fifth verse. Yes. Trust in the Lord. Lord, I'm gonna trust you. Come on, music. I don't know how it's gonna work. Hallelujah. Come on now. But I'm trust in you. Hallelujah. I don't know how it's going to But I'm trust in the Lord. I admit sometimes the things don't look good. But I gotta trust in the Lord. That's it. David said, Do I walk into the valley? I'm the shadow of death. I'm not going to fear no evil because I know you're with me. So I'm going to trust you to take me through this test. Lord, sometimes it look rough. Sometimes it get tough. Sometimes folks start looking at you. They began to wonder how you're going to make it through. But just remember, we serve a God. Somebody say he's a way maker. Making a way for his own. Lord, I don't know how I'm coming out, but I'm trusting you, Lord. Trusting the Lord. I'm trusting you, Lord, yes. because you's my maker. Yes. You the one that made me. You fashion me about. You put this skin on my skin, acting up. My God, I'm trusting you, Lord. You gave me and you gave me the bread of life. So I'm trusting you, Lord, to hold me up. Trust in the Lord. With all my heart, Lord, I'm putting all my heart in it, Lord. What a blessed saying. You know, it's a good feeling. God, no, I'm not ashamed to tell Sometimes my body bleeds and I'm battling, I start out, and I got there and look. One o'clock, then I look before I know it. I see the light coming through the window. I said, oh my God, I look. The time before I know it is after six in the morning. My God, I'm down there. You, what you down there doing? Trusting in the Lord. Lord, I'm trusting you, Lord. I'm trusting you with all my heart. Lord, I'm putting all saints. Trouble got to come. But trust it. You know, it's a blessing when you can trust your maker. Praise God. I'm encouraging all of you saints, young and old, middle age, young ones. You gotta they, they said from a child, Paul said, I've known the Holy Scripture. You're gonna go up against some tests. But let me tell you, David never wait till he meet Goliath. David done prove. He already done prove God. When 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 Saul tell him, look, you what are you? This man is a man who he's been fighting from his youth. David said, wait a minute. Let me give you the background of this new time. I kept my father's sheep. My God, and a lion and a bear came out and caught one out the flat. This youth didn't run away from him. 
this youth went after him. And when he rose up against me, I caught him by the knee and I slew him. This youth slew both the lion and the bear. Yes, right. This uncircumcised Philistine got to be as one of them. Saints, you know every test you go through, prepare you for the next test. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Every test you go through, That's right. God is preparing you for something else coming. Oh, yeah. My God, some, every test you go through. God have you preparing for the next one coming. That's right. Man. Read on. Trust in the Lord. So you you got to know how to trust God. Oh, yeah. Trust in the Lord. With all thy heart. With all thy heart. Trust God with all thy heart. And lean not unto thy own understanding. Don't, don't try to figure it out. That's right. Don't. Sometimes you know your own understanding. Can be your biggest oh, yes. oh, yes. oh, yes. Your own understand. Sometimes oh, yes. so many of us oh, yes. make the mistake. Oh, yes. Try to figure it out. Oh, yes. oh, yes. You lean into your own understanding. Oh, yes. You know, the devil wants you to look at the condition. Oh, yes. to, to let me ask you this question. In when Jehoshaphat heard that the Ammonite Mount Seir, and everybody were coming up against against him. Oh, yeah. Did he lean to his own understanding? We're not leaning. Amen. The devil wants you to lean oh, to your yes. own oh, understanding. Yes. Oh, yes. But when Jehoshaphat, yes. uh, that's in that's in Second Chronicles, chapter twenty. And verse one, <clears throat> somebody gonna come at you, oh, yeah. and they're gonna tell you, oh, yeah. hey, God, they sing a song. There is a storm out, where, and the ocean, and it's moving. God. It's coming at me. But if your soul is not anchored, it's surely gonna wash you away. Right. But your husband power anchor. In Second Chronicles, I believe twenty and one, it came to pass. Yes. After this, that the children were after you got one victory, something else coming at you. Yeah. With you on the side of the Ammonite. After this, the children of Ammon, Ammon, Moab, Moab, and the children of Ammon. All these one group together to come at him. Read on. With their others beside the Ammonites. Beside the Ammonites. Came against Jehoshaphat to battle. Something coming against you, saints. Praise God. When you win one victory, another test coming against you. My God. God just showed Jehoshaphat favor and blessing. My God said some good things in you and delivering. Oh, oh, Ahab was a wicked king. He told Joe, Jehoshaphat, let's change room. Let this guy put on my room and I put on your room so they won't know I'm the one. My God, but they give commandment. Say, don't fight against small or great. Just target. My God, Ahab, he's a wicked man. We're going to get rid of him. My God. And when they came down, Sarah so came down at, uh, at that old, uh, uh, he changed role. I tell somebody once I will preach, you better watch who you change role with. You better watch who you rock with. You're not going to have to change role. He surely did. I can bring it I don't have time. What he did, he changed role. Yeah, I don't know if in the 18th chapter, but don't go there. But he changed robe, said, you put on my robe. <laughs> he know the after him. And poor Johannes said, I am as thou art, just inquire of the Lord. But he didn't want. He didn't want Machiai. Machiai tell him what was going to happen. But he locked Machiai up. Bread of water, friction, and yes. till I return. My can I say, if you return at all in peace, God has not spoken. He'll know now. 
He has fear God man. So he went down there and said, look, that man gone so certain. Even though I lock him up, I, I still, let's change room. Just in case they come at me. Just in case they won't know me. So let them target you. So he changed the room. And here they are sitting up in the chariot. Those men come with the bed and lunch at Jehoshaphat. Oh, yeah. Cry out! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My God, and you know who had mercy? God had oh, mercy yeah. upon him. Yeah. And move the people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Move the people. My God, from you got to watch who you associate yourself yeah. with. You better watch who you associate. If it has not been for the mercy of God, Jehoshaphat would be a dead man. But God showed him mercy and showed him favor. And brother, they target. They target even though he even though he had changed room. <laughs> they didn't miss it. My God says, let me tell you. So so here he God have mercy and Jehoshaphat, now he can be faced another back of him. Yeah. Read on. Then there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, Saying, There come a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea. I know you don't win one More victory. Of Syria. But I'm here to tell you, Jehoshaphat, and Jehoshaphat, we in trouble. A great multitude? Yes. I see it. A great multitude against thee from beyond the sea. Saying, you don't know what. You're gonna come up against. That's but you gotta know how to trust in the Lord oh, yeah. with all thine heart. Oh, yeah. A great multitude. Do what? Yes, come a great multitude against thee from down the seas. Come on, church. Prepare yourself. That's your idea. You don't know what tests you're gonna face yes. before it's all over. Oh, yeah. But you gotta remember God say He will never leave you nor forsake you. So that you may boldly say that whatever come up, uh, you come up against, hold your confidence in God. Amen. Look what coming up against Jehoshaphat now. They side. Read on. And behold. Behold. They be in Hazardor. Yes. Which is Ekadai. Yes. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord. You see when trouble come? Set yourself. Yes, to seek the Lord. We're going to have trouble. Sometimes you have to bang your head all by yourself. I used to love to hear the late Mother Hurley, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. She used to sing a song. The Pastor Hurley, uh, my mother in law, she said, Way down yonder, all by myself. I can't hear nobody pray. Four o'clock in the morning, she up humming that song. I'm on my knees. I said, no, madam, you, you're not by yourself. I'm up here wrestling. Four o'clock in the morning, she said, she can't hear nobody pray, but I'm on my knees praying. My God said, you got to know how to set yourself. That's it, Bishop. Over here, you got the, the late Bishop Brother Goodman. I thank God for him. I remember when I first got saved. And I was on my knees, me and another brother. I got just received the Holy Ghost. And I was here praying and hitting the pews and hitting. And Bishop Scrooge, after that, he came over me and tapped me. He said, Son, I want you to set a pace. Say, Over here, you got a pace to set. So, way down the road, you may be able. Took a, I thought way down the road was a few years. I never know what he, he said. Way down the road, you'll be able to continue. When the test come, you'll be able to continue. Way down, you know over here you gotta you gotta space yourself. Oh, yes. Amen. You can't run, I'll run too fast, run too, but you gotta pace yourself. Praise so God. you'll be able to continue. When the test come, when the trial of the faith, you can read on. And you have to be fear. Fear. Set himself to seek the Lord. You got to set the yourself fast. over here. The fast God Tell God yourself, God. I'm going to stay right here. And I'm going to steady myself. Yes. I ain't going to let nothing move me. 
he proclaimed a fast. Well, all Judea, Read out. And Judah gathered themselves together. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, a it's a blessing when the saints can come to that. Sometimes I'm, I'm down here, I'm coming off the plate Thursday night, and I drop my luggage, the saints here in prayer, I drop my luggage again. Sometimes I'm tired as can be, but I drop my luggage and roll up here on my knees and start praying along with them. I want to make them a voice. Yeah. My God, I want my prayer yeah. to go on up now. Yeah. I want my prayer to go on up. You know, there's a blessing. Make sure your prayer's going up. Read on, sir. And Judea gathered themselves together to ask help of Come God. on, church. It's time for us to gather together. Yes. Get down to business. To ask help of the Lord. Of the Lord. Even out of all the city of Judah. All the city of Judah. They came to seek the Lord. You know, the saints need, we need to buckle up saints. We are living in Perilous time is here upon us. Not shall come, but is here right now. Oh, yeah. My God, even men and seducer, what's it worse and worse? If there ever a time for the church to come together and ask help of the Lord, to ask help yes, of, of the Lord, even of out of the city of Judah, read on. they came to seek the Lord. Everybody need to come and get down to business on, to show. seek the Lord. And Jehoshaphat stood in the congregation of Judah. Read on. And Jerusalem in the house of the Lord. Read on. For the new court and Read. said, O oh, Lord God of our Father. O oh, Lord God of our Father. Is not thou God in heaven. Come on, talk to God, saints. Don't be afraid. You're going to have to know God. God. you got to know God for yourself. Oh, yeah. Don't let the enemy scare you. And that even say, well, I don't know why you're praying. Nothing's going to happen. Keep on praying. Right. My God, you know what? Hey, Elijah didn't let the discouraging moment, the servant come say, I don't see nothing. Mm -hmm. He said, go look again. I don't see nothing. Go look again. Don't let, you know, faith don't never give up over you. Read on. And said, O oh Lord God of our Father, of our Father, are not thou God in heaven? In heaven, rulest not thou over all the kingdom of the heathen? Read on, and in thy hands is there is not power and might. Saints, remember, He got the power and might. He got the power. Praise God. Is there not power and might? And he, might. Is there not what? And might. Is there not is power? There not power and might. He giveth power to the faith. Yes. And to them. And has no might. He increased strength. That's it. This God know how. Sometimes you get up, you don't know how you, you're going to make it through the day. But here come God and give you increased strength. Is there not power and might? So that none is able to withstand thee. Do you hear this, saints? We serve a God that no power on earth. No, they say, I want the to power withstand to thee. Change is up to you now. You have to believe this and set to your seal. God's word is true. You don't have to, uh, he said, so that how many? Yes. So that none is able to set, withstand thee. Do you hear what the uh, man of God said? None is able to withstand thee. None is able to withstand thee. To withstand thee. Are not thou our God? Talk to God. You the one that do it for this one. You the one that sometimes I tell you. You do it for that one. My God, listen how listen how Jehoshaphat put it before. Him. Are not thou our God? Are not thou to devour out and have to drive out the inhabitants of this land? Of this land before thy people Israel. Read on. And gave it to thy seed Abraham, thy friend forever. From thy friend forever. Yes, and thou and they dwell therein. Read on. And has built thee a sanctuary there for thy name's sake. For thy name's sake. If evil, when evil come upon us. Saints, evil gonna come? Yes. As I want you to know your test gonna come. The test gonna come? 
evil gonna come upon if us. Evil come upon us. Evil come upon us as the sword, as the sword, judgment or passing it, or pestilence, or famine, famine, my God. Stand before thee in this house, before come, this house. Come on, get down to business. Come on, this year. before this house and in thy presence. Are we coming in your presence? For thy name is in this house. Your name is in this house. And cry unto thee in our affliction. Come on, church. You know you got to know how to cry out to God. I don't care what I hear. Sometimes the devil tells somebody that they're not going to come back to tell you. Mm -hmm. To discourage you. Or to weaken you. But you better know how to look to God and cry. I, don't, I hear so much negative. The Bible says in good report and evil report. But you better know how to cry unto thee in our affliction. In our affliction. Then thou will hear and help. Then what? Then thou will hear and help. You better know how to talk to God. You promise you're going to hear and help. Praise God. Read on. And now, come on now. It get personal. Oh, no, I'm not talking about Abraham. Now, I'm not talking about Isaac, Jacob. I know what you done for them. Yes. But I'm coming to you for me, Lord. Yes. And now, behold, behold, Lord, the battle is set against me. Behind and before. That's right. I'm coming to you, Lord. And now, Behold, the children of Ammon and Moab. You know, you say you're going to be an enemy to my enemy, yes, yes, and an yes, adversary yes. to my adversary. Yes, Behold, yes. the children of Ammon Amen. and Moab. And Moab. Mount Seir. Mount Seir. Whom thou wouldst not let Israel invade. Read on. When they came out of the land of Egypt. Read on. But thou turned from them. But they turned from them. We don't. We, we wouldn't kill them. We wouldn't destroy them. Sure them not. Sometimes you do people good and they turn back and do you oh, evil. Yes. That's a human family for you now. You do people good and they turn around and do you evil. Read on. And who I say. I say, how they reward us. Look how they reward us. All the good that you do for them. All that. You do a lot of good. Bishop Queen, do a lot of people, a lot of good. Job said, those of my own turn against me. You don't know who's going to turn against me. But don't go, go reward nobody. You're going to do people good, but overcome evil with good. That's right. My God, you can read on. Behold, I say, I say, how they reward us to come to cast out, cast us out of thy possession. Read on, which thou hast given to us to inherit. To inherit, oh our God, come on, church, you better know how to open up your mouth oh, and talk God. to God. Oh, our God, see, you know what? You know why? Joab were able, and why Jehoshaphat were able to talk like this? And you can talk just like this. Praise God. Jump to Job 22, 21. You gotta be, you gotta have a relationship with God. Job 22, 21. He said, come boldly before the throne of grace so you can find help that is able to help you in the time of trouble. In the book of Job 22, 21. Acquaint now thyself with him and be at peace. Saints, you've got to get acquainted with God. That's it. You know, sometimes before you go to a bank, somebody say, I want it alone. <laughs> you don't go to the bank and say, well, I'm just coming. You get acquainted with that loan office. Oh, yeah. You, <laughs> you, oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't oh, go yeah. say, I, I, I need some money. <laughs> I guarantee you don't walk in there yeah, like yeah. that and expect to come out with it. No, sir. I'm buying such and such a thing and I, I, I just I come to get a hundred and uh, it costs 50,000. Oh, no. <laughs> you got to get a queen. That's right. Yeah. You got to break down. Oh, yes. Your background check, a job, and history, and then you have to be nice. When you come to God, you don't go just do it for me. Even though He tell us to come on Him, 
said, you want to get acquainted with God. Pray now thyself with him. You better get acquainted with God. And be at peace. Be at peace. Thereby good shall come unto thee. Good shall come unto thee. And you got to know how to get acquainted with God, beloved. We are. Receive our praise from my mouth. My God. That's what I want. Go back to, to Jehoshaphat. You better get that. What I'm saying, Jehoshaphat was able to talk because he get acquainted with God. You know, if you're not there, won't you ask God? David, tell God, created me, O oh Lord. What, David? I Lord, I need you to renew. There is a spirit in me. I don't like it. I need you to take it out, Lord. Yes. Clean me up, Lord. From the top to the bottom. From the inside. Yes. I, I don't like this thing in me. It made me talk too much. It gave me an evil eye. Make me talking about people. But I didn't hear say that. No, I didn't hear that. So listen, well, listen this now. You got to be honest with God now. Paul was honest with God. Was he honest with God? Paul said, I see another law. Where Paul? Yeah, who you see it in? In Alexander? In Zeal? No. Who you saw it in? Timothy? Titus? No. In me. But that's why Paul is examine who? Yourself. <laughs> it's funny. I can look at Minister Gerard. Thank God for having you, Minister Winesbury. And thank God for God bless him with a safe trip. You know, the enemy, I don't care what you do. If you tell me you're going to be here with us for tomorrow night, I don't care what you do. The enemy going to fight. The reason oh, why yes. I don't want somebody to pass out the wrong. Uh, uh, some should say, why are you sitting in the back? And it's gone. No, his luggage get misplaced. So they found it in Philly. So that's why he got there. God is a way maker. Oh, yeah. God is a deliverer. Yeah. What did he say? Oh, our God. Oh, our God. Do so I not judge them? Do I not judge them? We have no might against this great company. The death's going to come, brother. You don't know what to do. They have no might. This is great company. Read up. That come against us. Something gonna come against you. Neither know we what to do. That's what I want. Neither know we what to do. Sometimes you don't know what to do. That's right, Bishop. You coming from the left, from the right, behind you, and then the big trouble say, yet trouble come. Oh, yes. You don't know what to do. Oh, That's so why Job said a man that is bound up a woman is up a few days and oh, full judge. of trouble. You don't know what to do, but this is what you got to do. What is it? Blow eyes upon thee. Lord, I don't know what to do, but I'm going to keep my eyes on you. Yes. I don't use my comfort. I don't use my guide. use my protector. I don't believe you're going to leave me or forsake me. I believe you've got a way to bring your people out. I'm trusting you, Lord, with all my heart. Lord, I, I, I have to admit I'm in a battle, Lord. I don't know what to do. I don't know how I'm coming out. The people talking, my God, oh, Nehemiah. They were talking, it's natural, to buy her. They were doing everything oh, against him. But Nehemiah sent those prayers up. You don't know what to do. Sometimes they look to the left, they're on the left talking. Look to the right, they're on the right talking. But you got to know how to look to God Almighty. Acquaint now yourself with God. Tell, talk to God. He is our comforter. He said, neither know we what to do. I'm right about that. I'm not going to tell you don't get wrong. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you get in the back and it gets so rough. But you got to know, look to God. My eyes are upon thee. What are you going to do? My eyes are upon thee. Lord, I'm going to keep my eyes upon thee. I don't believe you're going to leave me nor forsake me. I believe and I know you're a God that cannot lie. So our eyes upon thee. Our where? Upon thee. Upon thee. Upon thee. I'm going to keep my eyes on 
for you. I ain't going to look at everybody. Right about They're that. talking and saying this, yeah, but I, yes. they, they can't help me. I'm looking to you, Lord. What you said, David, I'm going to lift up mine eyes and to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. You made the heaven. You made the earth. You won't suffer my foot to be moved. I believe you're going to bring me out, Lord. I'm going to keep my eyes on you. I'm not looking at the condition. I'm going to keep my eyes. eyes upon you. 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 I'm not looking at this one. But I'm going to keep my eyes. Yes, Lord. Without, you know, that's going to go in. 
Sarah knew Mr. White that he was in the bed one night, Friday night, and God spoke to him and said, Get out of the church. He came here late, but he said, God said, and he came here and stopped rejoicing. Holy! Let your conversation be without covetousness. Let your conversation be without covetousness. It ain't gonna covet nobody. Praise God. In this century, I don't care what I hear. Sometimes you're gonna hear a good report. God is gonna hear evil report. But I know how to wait on God. Oh man! Let your conversation. By the time I see you hanging out in here. My God, from a child, you have known the Holy Scripture. Oh, man! Let your conversation. Let what? Let your conversation. Let your conversation. Be without covetousness. I ain't going to commit nobody. I believe God's going to bring you all out, God. I believe God said, I know your works. I know your works. What God has for you, it is for you. I don't have to walk around here full of bitterness and animosity. God said you're going to be an enemy to my enemy and an adversary. I refuse. I'm glad to see your wife's very welcome. Devil is a liar. He tried to make you laugh. Hold God. Hold God. You all got credit. This is different. The little gods that used to say hallelujah. Tell this good. I'm saying, I'm looking at the two big hallelujah. Bishop Green and myself. God, hold me. Let no conversation be without covetousness. Do you hear what he said? Yes. Hold God. Hold God. Hold I don't care where, how hard it can. Hold it. Let your conversation. You know, I'm not going to love it, nobody. You know why? I'm persuaded that he that began a good work in me, he's going to perform it. I ain't going to love it, nobody. I'm walking around, I'm praising God. I know how to get on my knees. That's it. I'm glad to see you, man. You said you have a good talk yesterday. Welcome. I'm glad you made it here. Yeah. You came all the way from Washington, D.C. Thanks for coming out. Only let your conversation. Don't worry about it. Just turn it over to the Lord. It's going to work out, darling. Only let your God knows this thing a song. I don't hate nobody. I love everybody. Only I want to be able when I get on my knees. I can pray for everybody. God say you're gonna be an enemy, and to your enemy, I'll let the go on. Only let your conversation. Let your conversation be without covetousness. You don't have to covet nobody. God got a set time. He's he gonna visit you. He is the Savior. Oh God. Only the same God that began a good work in you. I'm gonna hold God. I'm gonna sit right here. I'm gonna stay in myself. It looks like it's going against you. But God I hold it. There was a place to tell God, rise up, Lord. You can, you can have that connection with God. Only, let your conversation. Only, let your conversation. You know, you can walk around here. Say, I don't hate nobody. I don't covet nobody. Only, let your conversation. Do you hear what I said? Let your conversation without covetousness. I don't covet nobody, brother. 
He will out covetousness. Yes, and he content. And content says. Why? Because godliness with contentment is great gain. Yes. I didn't brought what? I brought nothing into this world. Yes, and it is certain. You can carry nothing out. I can't take it, me. And let me hold God. Only let your conversation. You will come out, sir. Only. I'm gonna suffer myself. Only God come see about you. You brought me Lord for the last. He brought me Lord. He paid the price. You know I belong to him, Jamie. I'm gonna do everything going against me. I God sometimes you feel that way. But it's the only let your conversation. Let your conversation be without covetousness. For what? And be content with such things as you have. What so he blessing. said. You know he said godliness with contentment. It's great pain. It's great pain. Who said it? God. How be going on? But don't worry, man. God say we will never leave you. I will never leave you. I will you. So you may boldly so say, you may boldly say, only let your mother, daddy, only. Yeah, let your conversation. Let your conversation. Be without covetousness. Don't covet nobody. That's it, Bishop. Sister Brittany, yes. you got to know about these needs. Sometimes if I got to pray, I pray all night long, Mother Bobna. My God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Only let your conversation. You know you can pray your way out. Oh yes. Saints, the church got power. Oh yes. Matter of fact, I don't have to tell you. You already know. You don't stop the praying woman. Only let your conversation. Saints, the church coming out. That's right. Do you hear what is that? Only let your conversation be without covetousness. I don't feel a job out in me. Jamie, you're coming out. Amen. Oh, man! Conversation. Lift me back to look rough, son. Oh, yes. You're right. Yeah. Like you said, I can say, I would have fainted. Yes. Unless I believe. To see. To see. The goodness of the Lord. Something good got to come out. Oh, yes. Come God on, can man. take something that looks bad right. and bring good yes. out of it. Just only. Yes, let your conversation. Only. Let your conversation. Without covetousness. I ain't have to covet nobody. Praise God. What God have for me. Yes. I can hear everybody talking, but I'm going to look to God. Amen. Without covetousness. Yes, and be content. I'm content. With such things as you have. I'm content, sir. With such oh, that love. Hallelujah. And that's such hallelujah. thing that you have. Hallelujah. Keep on singing those praise for God. Hallelujah. We're coming out with the victory. My God. We'll talk about this so great. Man, you will be a pastor that I love. Every time I can, we get together. My God. Oh, man. Let your conversation be without covetousness. I love you, whole God. Let me finish. All right. Without covetousness. Yes, and be content with such things as you have. You know, God, God will have a way to prove you. Oh, yes. If you're going to be content, oh, yes. Lord, I thank you. Whatever you bless me with, such thing as I have. Yes, such as you have. For he said, For he said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Say, remember, when it seems like everything going against you, talk oh, yes. to God. Oh, yes. Lord, you promised me oh, you will never leave me. Lord, You're not say, gonna, I'm out here on your word, Lord. I don't know how I'm coming out. Close me out. Yes. Go back to the crowd because I'm close me out. Say, our eyes yes. is on thee. Keep your eyes on God, saints. Just keep your eyes on God. Sometimes you set yourself how you're going to fight, how you're coming out, but you got to set yourself on the back. Now, what is it? Our eyes, oh God, will yeah. I not judge them? Read up. For we have no might against this great company. 
don't have no might against the great complex coming against us that come against neither us neither know we what to do neither know we what to do but our eyes are upon thee church that's all i want to be with keep your eyes up on eyes who upon thee. don't look at the condition you're facing right now if you can look away from the condition and put your eyes on god you're coming out Praise our God. eyes are upon thee Lord, you know I got it, I I tell you, God, if you don't help me, who else can help me? I tell him that now. When I go electrocute it, I say, if you don't bring me up, who else can I bring me up? Right about that, this People waiting for you to jump. Like I preach Friday night, Barbaros, back I got to hold the bar. And the white people can make that assumption about you. Say, no doubt he's a murderer. He don't escape sin. Yet vengeance of a written act to me. Yes. But God shook it off and keep picking up still. Yeah. You know you can hold this still. Somebody yeah. change the feeling about you. Yeah. Somebody can pass the feeling, what they think about you, how they feel yeah. about you. But Paul keep picking up stick. Those people change the times. Yeah. God don't come down here. Yes, My God, from a murderer to a God. Yeah. All right, go to me. Up. Yes, and all Jews still before the Lord. Stand with their little ones, their wives Come before and their children. God with your little ones. Yes, their wives yes. and their children. And your children. Read upon Jehaziel. Read on. The son of Zechariah, the son of Benaiah, the son of Yul, the son of Bethaniah, the, Read on. the son of Ashman. Read on. Came the spirit of the Lord in the midst of the country. Don't worry about somebody have a lot of letters. Mm. Sometimes the letter can kill it. Oh yes. But the spirit. Oh, yeah. That's what you need, saints. Oh, yes. A lot of people can come with the letters and excellence their speech, but do they have the spirit? Praise God. Right? The spirit is what built in the church. Oh yes. Oh, Came the spirit of the Lord. In the midst of the congregation. Read on. And he said, Hearken ye, all Judah. All Judah. The year had to Jerusalem. Of Jerusalem. Now King Jehoshaphat. King Jehoshaphat. Thus said the Lord unto you. He told God that didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. But here comes the answer from God. God said the Lord unto you. Unto you. Be not afraid nor dismayed. What? First thing he tell him what? Be not afraid. Don't God be afraid that be that not test you going through. Right. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid. Nor dismayed. Nor dismayed. By reason of this great multitude. Read on. For the battle is not yours. <laughs> Sometimes people want us to get in the battle and start fussing at you. Yes. No, step aside. Yes. You better just say, if you can just move yourself out God's way. Step up. When they said the battle is not yours. You're in a battle, but it don't belong to you, church. That's it. The battle is not ours. That is not yours, but God's. Who it belongs but to? God. But who? But God. But God. The battle is not ours. That's it, Bishop. But who it belongs to? But God. But God? That's it. What? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Go ye down against them. I want you to go out against them. Yes, behold. Behold. They come up by the chip cliff of Zip. Of Zip. And ye shall find them at the end of the brook. Read up. Before the wilderness jewel. Read up. Ye shall not need to, shall not need to fight in this battle. Sometimes you don't care how you're going to come out, how you're going oh, yeah, in this battle. But God can go ahead and give you the victory without you fighting. Yes, Say you don't need to fight in this battle. Set yourself. Just set yourself for stand the victory. Still. Set yourself for the victory. Very Just right. stand still. And stand still. still. And wait at God. And see the salvation of the Lord with you. Oh, Judah. Oh, Judah. And Jerusalem. Fear not. What is it? Fear not. Fear not. Nor be dismayed. Nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go against them. Go against them. Go against them, for the Lord will be with you. Who going to be with us? The Lord will be with you. Who going to be with us? The Lord will be with you. Watch how you tackle a child of God. We're not in this battle ourselves. But who is with us? For the Lord will be with you. Who is with us? For the Lord. The Lord will be with you. Will be with you. And what? And Jehoshaphat bowed his head and his face to the ground. And God is with his people. 
Why do you think they were able to cry out? Everything come. That's why I love these prophets of old days and all of them. Finish that come. They go on and cry out of God. Because they have, and they acquaint themselves and have a relationship where they could go to God. One place God tell the man, go on, I'm going to give it to you. The next time David went, he said, don't go. Wait. Wait. I'm going to let you hear a sound. I'm going to let the mulberry tree talk yes. to you. What a mighty God we serve. He let the tree start talking to the man. Say, you're going to hear a voice say, going, going, going. That's when you go. Wait till the mulberry tree start talking to you. Then the mulberry tree start talking, going, going. He went up. Say, that's the God we serve. Amen. God bless your church. Amen. God keep you. Let go. He said, the Lord, who is with us? The Lord is with us. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Second Chronicles 13, 12. Oh, the Lord is with us. To, to say, don't fight against God. Now against the people of God. For the Lord. Yes. Huh? Yes. Oh, children, it's a fight you not against the Lord your God. The worst thing you want to go up against God and God people. Why? Yes, of our Father, for you shall not prosper. You can't prosper go against God. And what? Yes, but Jehovah caused an ambush. And what? To come about and behind them. Yes. So they were before Judah. Read up. And the ambush was behind them. Read up. And when Judah looked back, behold, Read. the battle was before. Before. And and they, and they cried unto the Lord. Cry unto the Lord. And the priest sounded with the trumpet. And what? Then the men of Judah gave a shout. A shout? And as the men of Judah shouted, it came to pass. Go in the back and shout. Praise God. What right happened? Amen. Amen. Thank God. Slow the Job. Let in all. Jesus. Come on, by the way. What is it? No, no, no. Okay, I just called. No. Just what to do? You don't know. I 